This is Susan Wheelbanks with BlendedInsight.com. I am a holistic and integrative healing arts practitioner, an intuitive, and an energy healer. In this podcast, I share tips, tools, and suggestions that have helped me along my path in hopes of inspiring and helping you along yours. Let's get started with today's podcast topic. Hello, bright soul. Thank you for joining me in the new year. Happy 2022. I'm so happy that you showed up and I hope you had a beautiful holiday week. I hope that you celebrated, did something meaningful to you. And as I shared last week, my birthday is my new year. So I don't get too caught up in the new year's resolution and all that kind of stuff that people do. I kind of save that for my birthday, which is not until February. But when we have a collective energy of starting something new, it is kind of nice to participate in that. So if you're doing that, I think that's wonderful. The way I see it is anytime we can kind of refocus on what we want to bring in and where we want to put our intention, I think that's great. So if it's at the beginning of the year, that's great. So what I wanted to talk about today is something that I feel is really important. It's been coming through a lot for me personally, and I've been sharing it with a lot of people, is your breath. This is something that is with us from the moment we come in and when we leave. You know, we can go three weeks essentially without food. We can go around three days without water, but we can only go on average three minutes without our breath. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, of course, people like Wim Hof who have practiced cultivating, holding their breath, but on average it's three minutes. And we often take our breath for granted and our breath is so powerful. You don't have to go externally to experience enormous transformation within yourself. And the beautiful thing is, is when you become conscious of your breath, it actually alerts you to what's going on inside you. When we are stressed out or worried or we're feeling fearful, our breath will speed up and it's activating things in our body. It's putting us in fight or flight. So when you can consciously go within and start to slow your breath down, you can control your body's reaction to external circumstances. It's amazing. And we just skip on past it act like it's not that powerful. And it's so powerful. And the thing is, you don't have to leave your house, you don't have to pay anybody, you don't have to buy anything. All you have to do is sit with your God given breath. And that is really what I just wanted to encourage you to do today. Your breath is your life force. And oh my gosh, if you can just get into the habit of tuning into your breath. So when I I know, When I'm beginning to sigh deeply, I'm getting agitated or something's bothering me. I say, oh, there's my breath. Okay, let me check in with my breath. Let me expand as much as possible in this moment. And you do that by taking in really deep breaths, exhaling slowly. There are so many different ways of breathing. But my goal for this podcast is just to encourage you to be very aware, make friends with your breath. It is with you from the day you come in until the day you die. God gave it to you. It is life. And Honestly, there are so many physical benefits of just breathing deeply. You over oxygenate your cells. That's one of the things you do in conscious breath work, but you don't even have to do that. I'm just saying, notice how you hold your breath when you're focusing or when you're irritated. We do it so much. We do it so much. And so if you can just get into a pattern of, I'm going to really get to know my breath and I am going to breathe deeply and inhale all of the goodness. You can do so many things with the breath. So physically, what are you doing? You activate your parasympathetic nervous system. That slows down your heart rate. It lowers your blood pressure. And you can also improve your digestion. It brings down your stress levels. It improves your sleep. It can actually help you to release trauma in the body. And as an energy worker, I can always tell when people are holding their breath because it actually stagnates your energy. One of the ways you can release a lot of stuff, stagnant energy out of your body is by your breath. So it's so simple. And, you know, if you do conscious breath work, it is work, which is why no one wants to do it. They would rather hire an energy healer and say, here, you do all the work. I'll just sit here. And there's a place for that. Absolutely. But As I always say, any alternative approach that you do, it's always 10% the alternative practitioner, 90% the person. It's what you do consistently over time that will bring you the transformation. So, I mean, it's no different than eating. If I eat Doritos and chocolate and just junk 90% of the time, my health is going to show that. But if I just do that maybe 10% of the time, you probably won't notice that much. And it's the same thing with our spiritual path. Whatever we're doing in this world, it's what you do consistently. So all of the things that I offer, you know, that it helps. It absolutely helps. But also you're the soul and you can also 
help your own transformation by doing other things, simple things like your breath. And so, you know, I shared, I got into conscious breath work. Golly, I guess it's been maybe 17 years ago or so. And I haven't stopped. I do it consistently. I love it. It helped me absolutely catapult my spiritual journey. I got into energy work um, a little bit after I discovered breath work, but you can actually go into your body and breathe into those areas and release any tension. You, sometimes you don't even know it's there. And so one of the things that I do is I actually, if I feel tension in my body anywhere, so let's just say there's something bothering you, you're in your head a lot. I will consciously bring my breath in and try to move my breath to that area. So I'll breathe, I'll breathe really, really deeply and try to reach it down. Maybe I'm having some tension in my chest. So I'll breathe as deeply as possible to go into my chest. And then when I'm exhaling, I will imagine exhaling that stuck energy, exhaling that thought, that thought form. Um, even if I'm not setting the intention, the work is still happening. And so that's kind of the way that I've over the years just developed a way to use my breath to bring in healing and transformation. But there are a million ways if you go on the internet and just say, conscious breath work. There are so many different ways of doing it. You know, I know there's yoga practices. I'm not really talking about that. Um, yeah, it has its place, but just breathing deeply and doing conscious circular breathing can work miracles in your life. But even if you don't want to do the conscious breath work, that's up to you. Trust what you're drawn to. You're still going to be breathing. <laughs> your breath is still with you all the days of your life. It's so important. Make friends with your breath. Ask your breath. What are you trying to tell me? The deeper that we breathe, the more it improves our oxygen capacity in our blood. And the amount of oxygen we inhale influences the amount of energy released into our cells. And it is miraculous. And with this respiratory junk going on and all this nonsense in the world, what better time than to really get to know your breath and spend time with your breath. And so for today's healing, I wanted to start by doing a little bit of breathing. And so there's an audio prompt that you can follow. You don't have to if you don't want to. But audio prompts for me kind of help me go into the zone. So you know, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I invite you to if you choose. And we'll just go into the healing. <sighs> Okay, and so it is. Now, if you did the breathing prompts, that was only about a minute. So imagine if you did deep breathing like that for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. My breathwork sessions are usually about an hour. I give myself an hour to breathe in a circular motion. And you will be amazed at how beautiful you can feel. And you know, if you're interested, you can find breathwork practitioners, you can find them online in your area. Do some research, look it up. I mean, there are a million breathwork practitioners that do it all different ways. Trust what you're drawn to. 
And I just want to thank you so much for leaving me donations. I so appreciate that for leaving me reviews. Oh, I so, so, so appreciate it. And I'm wishing you a beautiful week. Know that I appreciate you and you are so vitally important to the planet at this time. Take care. Bye-bye.